I have a tape in the other room that's from a, a man I met in 1951. The same time I met Sidney P. Poirier and, and Villafani, it's Marlon Brando. And this is about 17 years ago, he left a call on my service, and he just wanted to vent because he'd look, been looking at a special called Racism on Campus. And people don't know <laughs> Paul Newman and, and Marlon. They were in the front line, man. Yes. It wasn't easy to be in the front line. That's right. You know, not at all. I'm telling you, the careers, forget careers, yes. the lives, you know. A lot of people were. Uh, but we actually believed in, after the 50s and 60s and some of the 70s that this, by 1980 or 1990, everything was going to be like utopia. I don't know how yes. <laughs> we believed that. But... Uh, I think it's like uh, Dickens, you know, in many ways we've regressed yes. enormously, yes. you know, and in many ways we've gone forward. It's the best and worst of times, you know, and it's, uh, it's based on a lot of things, you know. I think uh, we've got media to deal with, you know, which... Uh, all forms. All, all of the Al Jazeera too, you know. I watched it when I was in Cairo, you know, and it's uh, to paint the psyche black, you know, <laughs> because... Uh, the Russians came over here in 1987. Elon Klimov, I'll never forget that. We went there the next, right after that, uh, as guests of Russia when it opened up with Perestroika and Glasnost. And Elon had a part, his, his uh, group was, delegation was about 20 people, and there was 32 of us at Warners. And he looked at some of the heads of Warners, and he looked at me and said, do you people understand the, the responsibility you have when you throw images on the screen 32 times the size of life because we are 88% subconscious mind. You do not have a clue of what's going on down there. When I was in my operation, the doctor said, inside every person is a life force or a death wish. People have the death wish can bump into a cabinet and take them out. And the ones that have the life force, you have to tie them down and a steamroller can run over them. You've seen it happen many times, you know. And... Uh, we th literally thought it would be all over, you know. So uh, it's it's time to to start picking up. We, uh, we've got a movement in Europe now called We Are the Future, and our motto is Let Love Sing Louder Than Hate. And you'd be surprised how many people come into that army. It's just unbelievable. I mean, I every bet. day it makes me feel so good because uh, we visited Queen Ronnie in Jordan and. She was talking about the kids in Palestine and Israel, you know, that do have connection with each other, email and love each other. Hani Mashri tells me that 90% of both countries want it to be peaceful and everything else, but then there's another segment that, uh, like Shimon Perez says, that their memory no longer serves any useful purpose because all they can remember is who killed who and who killed who. Forget that. They need imagination about the future, you know. That's right. Because it's, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's, 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 <laughs> It's amazing when you see the, the, the bird's eye view of the world right now. We just covered about almost all of it just the last two years. You know, I've done it for 50 years now. Oh, yes. And you see it. You know, um, bottom line, I still feel hope. Yes. I, the I, big I'm so time, glad to hear big you say that. time, I feel light yes. and it's through the children. That's why I think it's through the children. We have 87 kids on the local youth forum and 46 mayors, and they are no joke. They're from everywhere no. in the world. You see the G8 kids in a. 19 and 17 interacting with the third world kids and they will have an easier time communicating in future years you know we're starting down we might not live to see it you know yes we have to start thinking that way